Okay, hey guys, Anime West Reacts here is some reaction to Countless Nana, Chapter 86, titled Countless and Incapable. <clears throat> so yeah, cover is Nana and Nakajima. Alrighty, so starting off with Hallway Nakajima saying, Someone contacted the outside, outside of work hours. It says, we're currently determining who they contacted. What did they discuss? Still figuring that out. Nakajima says, listen, you're the ones who will have a problem if they find out what we do in here. Either way, I'm glad you reported, qu glad you reported quickly. Take care of it AS ASAP. So you see the guys outside just sighing. And he says, Nakajima-san... Seems relaxed, but he takes his job seriously. Why did he side with us when he's talented? Who cares if we don't do exactly as he says, we'll be killed. This is, they say, last night. And Nana walks past, says, do you have a minute? And he says, hey, what is it? He says, well, it's a personal matter. And then Nakajima says, all right. Uh, says, you wanted to apologize for something, right? Come in. And then Nana says, you look busy. And he says, can you believe I'm, in the, I'm the same person who used to read comics in class? Brings back memories. Back when I was a loser, you gave me the courage to break up Mogo and say, say his fight. Now I think about it, it was all a charade, but I was serious about it. And Nana says, when we first met, I believed you had the ability to unify others and receive their support. And he's like, <laughs> thank you. And he says, that way you decided to kill me. And then she bows, says, I'm sorry for trying to kill you and betraying you sh your straightforward feelings. I hope you'll accept my apology. And he says, sure. I forgive you, raise your head. And so she does. And he says, I'm glad you don't look relieved. <laughs> that was your job. You killed plenty of people besides me, haven't you? You'll live the rest of your life making that expression. I'm jealous. And yeah, knocking him says, I'm jealous. I, I've done lots of bad things, but I stopped caring about them immediately. Not only that, but now I want to do even more bad things. This is something Soroka told me. When humans see others in distress, our brains are flooded with endorphins. It drives us to hurt others for no benefit at all. We tend to choose victims who are weak or unlikely to fight back. This tendency is especially strong among talented individuals. I think it's called the frontal lobe. There's something wrong with the part of our brain that controls our ability to reason and sociable. Yeah, be to reason and be sociable. Come to think of it, weren't there a lot of odd people at school? Talented individuals are balls of malice. They're monsters. And then Nana looks shocked and says, Did my actions make you think this way? And then Nakajina says, You might have been the reason I changed, but all talented individuals end up this way eventually, sooner or later. And then Nana says, Are you saying that all talented individuals are evil? And then he says, Yeah. As far as normal humans are concerned, we're nothing but a threat. That's why we're kept in isolation here. It's merely my... And then, yeah, Nana, or someone says. It's merely my opinion as a watchman. Yeah, Nakajima. Or, Nana says her opinion, but I believe in... I believe the talented individuals keep... Being kept here are being mistreated more than necessary. And then Nakajima says, what are you so worried about? And then Nana says, fostering too much resistance, bleh, resentment could cause a riot. And then Nakajima says, that's fine, after all, they're evil. And she says, but it's not just talented individuals who are suffering theft and violence, they're families. In other words, talentless people from, or talentless people are affected as well. And then Nakajima says, they're the family of evil people, it can't be helped. And then, yeah, Nana's kind of shocked. She's thinking, he sounds oddly confident. 
I thought he was just being manipulated by Sirokasan like I was before, but more than that, I sensed something immeasurable. And then he says, There were riots during the three years you were in solitary. I shut them all up. The next inc yeah, the next incident might occur when Onodera Ren is executed. I have a question for you. You and I are facing the same direction, aren't we? And then she's like, what do you mean by that? And then he says, well, you know, according to Suroka, when Takai fell to his death the other day, you might have had a hand in that. And he says, naturally, I trust you. If you're lying, that would make your apology just now a lie too, isn't that right? And he says, hey. We're friends, aren't we? <laughs> it gets all in her face. And then he says, well, right now it would, yeah, right now it would be putting it mildly to say that I'm a terrible person. And Nana says, no, I learned you were still alive. At first I was glad. However, when I learned you were secretly acting as our enemy, I immediately became afraid of you. I thought my crimes had materialized and come to retaliate against me. In the end, I simply wanted to be forgiven. Nakajima-san, you've certainly changed, but you're still an honest person. You can't at least say disre disreputable things even when you don't need to say them. In contrast, I'm a liar. From my perspective, you're radiant. I'd like for us to be friends, but... Currently, we may be facing different directions. And then, yeah, he closes his eyes and says, Shouldn't you have lied about that? And he says, It's too late now. Three years ago on the island, you had me completely fooled. So what is this? What are you planning, huh? I want to keep talented individuals who are the enemies of humanity segregated from society. Are you saying you don't? Are you talented? And then, yeah, Nana says... Aren't you talented as well? And he says, yes. That's how I know how evil talented people can be. And he's like, not as like, what do you mean? And he says, you talentless, you're talentless. It's none of your business. And she says, stop deflecting. Why are you so irritated? What are you struggling with? And he says, shut up. And then she like grabs his hand and says, isn't there anything I can do to help you? And yes, um, she's like holding his hands and so on. Walks in and says, Commander Nakajima, uh, or Chief Nakajima, Siroka is calling you. Blah. Please come to the basement immediately. And he says, I'll be right there. He says, as a watchman, I can't ignore what you just said. When I come back, you're going to tell me all about it. And then Nana says, I had to say it, but why? Why does Nakajima hate talented individuals so much? And what is he so afraid of? It says, talented individuals become monsters. Ren saying, that's ridiculous. I've never heard of that happening. And Soroka says, I suppose not. We should have announced on national airwaves that someone talented, someone's talented son became a monster. And then Ren says, are you saying that no one had, had the guts to speak out because their fear to cause public, or cause panic? And then, yeah, sir. Nakajima says, shows up, says, what's going on? Did she regain her talent? And then Shrek says, Nakajima, made a lot of progress for the research, with our research, thanks to your cooperation. We're nearly there. And then he says, are you asking me to subject myself to another annoying medical exam? And then Nakajima says, I wish you'd stop drawing my blood. It seems there's something wrong with... The peripheral cortex of talented individuals. All members of the research team believe the key to creating a cure can be found there. And he says, uh huh, does that mean this? They want to dig through my brain this time? And he says, yes, that would kill me. He says, yes, it would. And then he's like, you're joking, right? And that's where the chapter ends. So yeah, Siroka basically saying, Go die for our research, basically. But yeah, got the apology from Nana to Nakajima. Which is pretty nice, so yeah.
Make sure to like this video um, if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and I'll see y'all next time. So, later.